Hey everybody, Dr. Dave Marquis here, and I wanted to tell you some things about our brain relative to the immune system. Many times we think that those are two separate parts, but your nervous system actually controls your immune system. And there's different parts of the brain that actually play a key role in this. Our frontal lobe, for example, which is responsible for our focus, our attention, our attention to task, our ability to stay calm, cool, and collected in a stressful situation to allow us to gate pain and other emotions, frontal lobe, so important. It doesn't get fully baked until we're in our, uh, you know, about our early 20s. And so for kids, this is a key player when they have recurrent infections. Thinking about that and the cranial nerves that feed into this are really important. And there's a lot of different exercises that people can do to stimulate our cranial nerves to help the frontal lobe engage. So our glossopharyngeal nerve, our vagus nerve, these are even the vestibulocochlear nerve for the, that goes into the ears. Each of these cranial nerves play a role in how the brain functions and there's exercises for them. There's exercises that you can do auditorily, visually, uh, in terms of stimulating the vagus nerve. There's like gargling while humming, gagging oneself, doing kegels, uh, breathing exercises. So many different things that can be done to, to work the brain to help it start to regulate the nervous system's direction towards the immune system that can help us become less sick more often. And so I wanted to share that concept with people that if their kids or themselves, if they're suffering from recurrent illness, don't just look to supplements solely and diet. Those are very important, but also look to the brain and reach out to us because we can help guide you in that process. Be well.